Hello there, this is Lee Noring, Hooked on CNC. I recently sent out emails asking people to watch my video who had any interest at all in wood carving. Donnie Boy 73 has sent me a message back. In, in my email I asked him, what would you carve in your sign? He said, Don the Small Engine Doctor. As a result of his message, I decided to do a simulated wood carving of a sign for Don using his logo, a cartoon man carrying a toolbox with a doctor's stethoscope. There you see the logo on the left. Here is the organization and toolpath of the roughing cutting used using a .25 end mill. In the illustration you'll see the simulation of the carving being made for the rough cut which is removing 90% or so of the material so that the finished bit has little to remove as possible. Many times the finished bit has only got a small cutting area of a few tenths of an inch. So by removing as much as possible in the rough cut reduces the requirement of running multiple passes with a finished bit. As you can see the lettering is not really sharp the letters so the, the rough end bits diameter is too large to fit the spaces between the letters so the machine just skips right over it leaving it for the finished bit which is smaller in diameter and can easily reach in and clear out the, the wood needed to make the image sharper but even still you can recognize the man his toolbox his hands his stethoscope and his mirror strapped to his head. Next we're going to do mounting holes on the four corners with a quarter inch bit. Cutting the holes at 0.3 inches in diameter will allow a quarter inch bolt to easily pass through and mount to the background without having to thread the bolt through the hole. On the right you can see the specifications for the individual tool paths in that white box background shows you the bit size Here you see the simulation doing a finish cut on the logo, which tends to travel in a circular path around the image being cut. So if you have a box shape image, you end up with tool lines at right angles to one another, and that makes a semi-ugly effect for me, so I try very hard not to have right angle tool lines on the drawing. That's one reason why I give the, the rectangle rounded edges to prevent tool lines angling at 90 degrees right angle. The simulation is carving the lettering on the sign and the finish bit. This is a simulated image of what the sign would like if cut under the current settings. Now I can take my mouse in the program that helps me design these 3D images and rotate it so that you can kind of see how high the individual parts of the image are from one another. It's not just a flat line drawing two-dimensional kind of image. The, the glasses stick up higher than the face than that just outline. The toolbox sticks up higher than the jacket and so on. Well done. If you like this sign let me know. Give me a phone call. My phone number is 916-672-1132 if you'd like a 3D wood carving for your business. Thank you for watching.
This is Lee Naring signing off with HookedOnCNC.com. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.